Uh, good morning, everybody. I just woke up from a very uh, weird dream about Joe Biden. And uh, I usually don't even post videos this early in the morning. And I usually don't even share my dreams as soon as I wake up from them. I usually document them first and then I come back later. I'm at a later date and time to share. But I feel a very strong urge in my spirit to share this dream with you guys immediately. And I'm gonna try to take my time with this dream because it's not a very it was not a very long dream. And so I'm gonna take my time with it. I'm not gonna rush through it. And like I said, I'm not even gonna try to interpret it, the dream, I'm, you know, that I'm gonna leave it open for interpretation, okay? But some of the things in the dream, I feel as if it's really clear to what the dream may represent. Okay, so in this dream, there were me and many others. We was at an elementary school that I attended when I was a kid. The name of the elementary school it's called Skyland, okay? Skyland, I remember this. The name of the elementary school is called Skyland Elementary School. But in this dream, you know, there wasn't any kids in this elementary school. In the, in the dream, there was adults. I was there and there were many other adults in the dream, but I rep I, it, it seemed as if we were students. It seemed as if we were students at this elementary school. And I know that I know this might sound weird because why would adults be students at an elementary at an elementary school, okay? But in the dream, we were adults and we were attending a elementary school. Okay. So for some reason in this dream, I felt like the rebel. I felt as if in this elementary school I was a rebel. Um I was going against the system. Um and there were a lot of authority within this elementary school. And I know this sounds weird, right? Or whatever, but hear me out. There was a lot of authority, like a lot of police officers, like security guards in the elementary school. Now, normally in real life, police presence within the elementary school, it's not that thick. It's not a lot of police presence, probably not even at all within an elementary school. But in this particular elementary school in my dream, there were lots of police officers, okay? Now in the natural realm and the physical realm, you might expect um, police officers and a lot of police officers in their presence within a high school. But in this dream, there was a lot of police officers within the elementary school, okay? And I felt like I was a rebel going against the system. And I felt as if they were indoctrinating us with something that wasn't right. So I was rebelling and going against the system. And there was this this big, this big muscular um, police officer guy, African-American guy in the dream. He was big, he was muscular. He had on the police uniform, but something seemed a little off about the uniform. I mean, he had on everything. He had the entire, his, the entire police uniform on, but something was off. And the thing that I noticed that was off is that he had a whole bunch of gold chains over his neck, like so many gold chains. Um, and it seemed as if he was like, you know, just super um, masculine, just walking around, just, uh, you know, flaunting his authority and, and flaunting his power. And a lot of the people there were scared. It's almost like we were, we were adults, but it's like we had that, um, it's like we had that child, that childish mindset. Like, you know, like a four or five year old when they see somebody big and bulk, like, oh, I don't, I don't wanna mess with him. But I challenged him. Within this dream, I challenged him. And honestly speaking, th there weren't even no words that I said to this police officer. You know, I, I challenged him. But what I did is that, you know, um, as he was going around flaunting his, his muscular, his muscular self and, and you know, doing this and walking around and flaunting and and, 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 and flodging at people. Um, I, I wasn't moved by that. And for some reason, I wanted to challenge him in front of everybody else. 
you know, and I wanted to show him that I had a power within me that was stronger than he was. So what I did is that I easily, I easily and I simply, I stretched my arm like that and I commanded him to get up off of his feet. And all of a sudden he started levitating off the ground by the power of my hand. It's like I had this power, this force within me and I made him get up off of his feet. And then I just started slamming him against the wall. I didn't even put my hands on this particular person in the dream. The only thing I did was stretch my arm to out towards him. And then he levitated off. He levitated off the, off the floor, off the ground. And it wasn't by his own power. It was by mine. It was by a power that was within me. And it was operating within me. And I grabbed him. And everybody was like, man, what the heck is going on? He got this type of power within him. They was looking at me like this. They were like, man, what the heck is going on? Like everybody was looking. And so I grabbed him. And it wasn't me. It wasn't me physically grabbing him with my hand. It was a power that was within me. It was a power that was operating within me that made him get up off the ground. And I just started moving him and moving him against and just slamming him against the wall, slamming him against the wall, slamming him against the wall. And he was disabled. He was crippled. He was disabled. And I demolished whatever force that was within him, whatever force that was inside of him that was intimidating, you know, the people that were around me, these adults who was in this elementary school who was being indoctrinated. It, this force was demolished. This force was disabled. This force was crippled. And so the people looked at me and they was like, man, we, I need to follow him. And it's like, it, this, is the, this is the weird part. It's like, there was order. There was, it was like order in this school. But the order seemed, the order was based off of disorder. I, I, know it, I know it don't make sense. I know it don't make sense how I'm wording these things, but it's very important that you follow me in this dream. It seems as if the order in this school was was based off of disorders. And I know you, you're saying like, what do you mean? It seemed like it was based off of deception. I can, deception and indoctrination of deceptive things. And, it's, and I can feel within the dream they was teaching us things that were deceptive and lies. And so there was order in that. It's like the people went again, it's like they went with it, like they was brainwashed. Like the, it's like the whole school was being indoctrinated with deceptions and the whole school was being indoctrinated with lies and it's like when I challenge this authority when I challenge this authority and when I demolish and when I cripple and when I disable this this particular big and, and bulky police officer who seemed to be corrupt when I dis when I demolish this particular person everybody was like man there there's a force that's stronger than this they was like there's a there's a force that's stronger than this and they was like man I need to go I need to go with this guy and so this is the weird thing about it. In the dream, in the dream, I felt like this whole school system was being ran. And I said this by the Joe Biden administration. And I and I said it's time. And I said after I demolished that particular police officer, I said it's time to go get Joe Biden. And everybody was like, yeah, let's go, let's go. And so I meaning to tell you, we was in the classroom. We was in the classroom, and so we went out of the classroom. We went out of the classroom, we walked down the hallway, and everybody was just coming behind me. They was like, man, I'm behind this dude, man. I'm behind this dude. Like, he got something, he got a force, he has a power that 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 is within him that I want to be in agreement with. So everybody was walking behind me, and I knocked on the door to another classroom, and I said, um, and I knew that in this classroom, Joe Biden was in there. In this classroom, I knew that Joe Biden was in there. And when I walked in this classroom, it's like they had the American flags like hung on a wall, like in, in this classroom. And it's like, it was a history type of classroom, like a US history type of classroom. Um, a lot of people who went to school, you can understand like how they had the American flag and they had like all these different American uh, symbolism all over the classroom. But when I walked in this classroom, I was ready to confront Joe Biden. But Joe Biden, it was like it was a woman. It was it was an African American woman. She was she was she was an elderly African American woman, and I felt as if that spirit, that spirit, was in that woman. And so, I said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, come out of that woman. I said, I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, come out of that woman. But I felt as if I was confronting this deceptive spirit that is behind the Joe Biden administration. I know it sounds weird. I know it sounds very weird as you hear this, but this spirit that I confronted in this dream was an elderly 
African-American woman, but I felt as if I was confronting Joe Biden. And I said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, come out of this woman. And, and the woman said it back to me. She, it was like, like it was mocking. You said, in the name of Jesus Christ, come out of that woman. It was mocking me. And so I had on this, this collar button down shirt and I, and I was getting ready to unbutton it. And it's like, I was getting ready to go into warfare with this spirit. So I just started unbuttoning. I started unbuttoning uh, my collar shirt, just unbuttoning it. Cause I was getting ready to come up out of this shirt and I was getting ready to get very aggressive and very powerful and engaging within this spirit. And I kept saying it. And as soon as I started unbutton my shirt, as soon as I was getting ready to take out my shirt, while I was, while I was saying in the name of Jesus Christ, come out of this woman. As soon as I was saying this, I woke up from the dream. And I was ready. I was ready to call out this spirit. I was ready to engage in the spirit. And I woke up from the dream. And when I woke up from that dream, you know, one of the things that stood out to me in my mind is that um, this inclusiveness, the inclusiveness that this administration is going to try to push is going to be a very deceptive way for this, this administration to have its way with the United States of America. But what I'm trying to say is that I believe I believe that the elementary school represents baby Christians, uh, in immature Christians, babies in Christ, and they can be elderly people. That can be we can be we can be old in the physical realm, but immature in the spiritual realm. And so I know there are a lot of people. I'm not going to even go into politics, but I know there are a lot of people, a lot of Christians, a lot of believers who did vote for Biden. And if you did. I mean, I, I'm not going to even get into all of that right now, but this administration, there are going to be some deceptive things that they push out on the United States of America. And what I, and with this dream, I think what this dream represents is that um, me going into that room and being ready to confront Joe Biden, but Joe Biden physically wasn't there. It was, it was an African-American woman. It was almost like I kind of felt as if I didn't. A part of me felt like I it didn't want I didn't want to engage in the warfare with this woman because she seemed like first of all she was African American and then the second of all it seemed like she was elderly. So I was like, man, am I supposed to confront this person? Am I supposed to go into warfare with this particular person? I crush her. It's almost like I kind of felt bad, but then again the spirit within me was like, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, come out of that woman because I didn't want to confront that woman. I wanted to confront the spirit that was inside of that woman. So I think it's very important that I emphasize that for some reason, thank you, Lord Jesus, because I think I needed that. I needed to share that with you all. I think that it wasn't the woman that I needed to confront. It was the spirit inside of that woman. And I think that the spirit um, strategically used that woman to have me to to, to be like, no, I, 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 I it can't be. This can't be the person I'm supposed to confront. This can't be. Because the woman was African American and the woman was an elderly person. So I kind of just felt as if I didn't even want to, like I went, like I ain't even want to engage. But I said in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth, come out of that woman because I wanted to confront the spirit and not that woman. And in the book of Ephesians, it says that we are not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities in the heavenly places. So I wanted to share this dream with you all. And I just, I'm asking you all to pray for the United States of America, to pray, to pray, to pray, and please pray for uh, Joe Biden's administration. You know, um, we have to pray. And so uh, I'm just gonna end this by saying, man, um, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. And I pray that this dream will bring you some type of insight or revelation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I'm leaving it open for in further interpretation. So um, please be blessed and please be encouraged in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All right, everybody. Good morning. Peace.